real name is AMS-2, or Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. Its job, antimatter hunter. From May 2011, it will fly around 400 kilometers above our heads in space. Mounted on the International Space Station's main truss, it will decrypt cosmic rays coming towards the Earth to study for antimatter and dark matter, in theory the missing signature of the Big Bang. The AMS is a multinational project led by Nobel Prize winner Samuel Ting. It brings together 16 countries and 56 scientific institutions, from NASA and ESA to the CERN. It's the scientific jewel in the ISS's crown. It's a big device, three meters wide and four meters high, packed with high technology, but with only tiny electrical consumption. It's a very ecological experiment, and the reason is that aboard the station, the energy production is very limited. The core of this seven and a half ton detector with the electrical power of a professional hairdryer is a superconducting magnet which produces a magnetic field 4,000 times stronger than the Earth's. It can study the composition of any cosmic ray passing through it to one part in 10 billion. The data will first be stored on an onboard computer, then directly transmitted to Earth. It will land somewhere in Alabama in the USA and then be sent by Internet to the CERN, where we'll set up a data elaboration center. AMS will keep on working for at least 14 years as NASA, following a request from its ISS partners, seems willing to extend the ISS lifetime until 2025 or even 2028, beyond its previous decommissioning date of around 2016.